In 1936, a research paper was introduced to the West. The work, written by American missionary Carl Rufus, focused on the stone astronomical charts created in 14th century Joseon. Thus, the Chonsang Yorcha Bunyajido, known as the Flower of Stone Astronomical Charts Worldwide, had its first encounter with the Western world. The starry night sky was engraved onto black stone. 1,467 stars were clustered into 290 constellations. The inner zodiac contained stars that could be seen year-round, surrounded by the ecliptic and the equator. Beyond those lines lies the outer zodiac, the far limit of possible observation. The Milky Way envelopes the inner zodiac and swirls around it. The 28 Chinese constellations were reinterpreted. In spring, the Azure Dragon appears in the south and is replaced by the Black Turtoise in the summer. The White Tiger appears in autumn, and the Vermilion Bird follows in winter to map the route of the moon. Uh,同样一样,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所以,所
five centuries before Christ. Even on this chart, known to be the oldest in the world, the stars are engraved in different sizes according to their brightness. There was one crucial obstacle to overcome before Korea's traditional astronomy could create the Chunsang Yeolcha Punyajido. The record printed at the bottom of the chart recounts that the stone astronomical chart that existed before the Chunsang Yeolcha Punyajido was lost in a river during warfare. The record continues to say that one day a printed copy of the lost chart was brought to the king by an old man and the first century constellations were updated with 14th century changes to create the new Chunsang Yeolcha Punyajido. A calculation of the ratio between the inner zodiac where the stars visible year-round are gathered and the radius of the equator reveals that the stars in the inner zodiac were observed from 38 degrees latitude. That place is Hanyang, currently known as Seoul. This Chongmu Do was built in the Joseon era, but it was built in 1395. The value was about half a century ago, in Goguryeo. When the constellations outside the inner zodiac are moved backwards in time, According to the regular movements of stars, it can be seen that they are from the 1st century A.D. Historical artifacts attesting to the excellence of old Korean astronomy can also be found in Japan. The Ketora tomb, built in the Japanese prefecture of Nara in the 7th or 8th century, also has astronomical charts engraved into the ceiling. But an examination of the constellations shows that the constellations could not have been observed from Nara, where the tomb was found. Professor Miyazima Kazuhiko, who deduced the correct observation location, claims that the constellations were seen from 39 degrees latitude. That is the location of Pyongyang, directly above Seoul. The stars of the Chonsang Yeolcha Punyajido each have a story. The star Canopus is marked as the old man's star. It is on the outskirts of the astronomical charts. It is hard to see due to its low altitude. Canopus was named the old man's star because of the saying that people who saw this rare star lived long lives. Vega, or Chignya star, is large and bright. Chignya was a beautiful aristocratic lady who loved a lower class man, Kyonu. The Milky Way swirls between the two forbidden lovers. The Chunsang Yeolcha Punyajido, a worldwide symbol of astronomical advancement in the 14th century, has led to preparations for the space era of the 21st century. The creation of the Chonsang Yeolcha Punyajido was the first in a rapidly growing series of the world's first and the world's best astronomical instruments and machinery. At the time of the Western Renaissance, Korea was bringing the stars of the night sky into people's lives, opening up a new era in astronomy. And at the center was the Chonsang Yeolcha Punyajido, 